In this video, we're going to focus on how we can use different date formats, and in this case specifically, how we can have here the days, and then we have a dot, then the month, and then the dot, and then the year, and how we can make this readable for our chart in Chart.js. So let's look at how we can use different date format in Chart.js. So we're going to focus on this specific format here, so day, month, and year. So the first thing we're going to do is we go to chartjs3.com, getting started. We're going to get the default code. Copy this entire item. And by the way, if you want to get the link, the link is in the description box. Once you copy this, and if you want to understand what this video does, or what this code all does, make sure you watch this video here. I'm going to just paste this in here, and then cut this out. Put it in here, the title, save, refresh. All right. So next thing what we need is we need to get the date uh, adapter. So I'm going to cl click here on ecosystem. And once I'm here, I'm going to scroll down here and I'm going to select on adapters. I'm going to use this date adapter here. I like this one because we only have one JavaScript file to add. So I'm going to click on this, scroll that, scroll down and then look for the specific JavaScript file, which is this one here with the date FNS bundle. Double click, copy this. And then we're going to put it in here. Save, make sure you uh, let the JavaScript file library load first before you have the bundle. Save, refresh. All right, so nothing happens yet because we need to activate this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm going to convert this into a line. I'm going to say here on the X scale, we're going to indicate here the type. And the type in this case is of course the time object. So we apply now the time object and we can use this here. And then what I want to do here is I want to say here the unit that will be day. So if I save this, refresh, all right, so now it disappears here. Why? Because the structure is not correct. So what is the structure? Well, our structure will be on this structure here. So you might have sometimes items where you get a different value. So I'm going to, or well, I can just put it in here. So I'm going to say here, for example, here 20. This is the structure. So day 20 dot 04 for April and a dot 2022. I'm going to copy this and put in a few more. And there we are. So then one, two, three, four. And I guess I'll just delete these. We don't need that. Save, refresh. All right, so it doesn't recognize. The reason why it doesn't recognize is because of these dots here. So Chart.js doesn't allow this by default, or uh, basically JavaScript don't recognize this by default. So what we need to do is here, and this is a very nice thing, in the time object, we're going to put a comma here, and then we're going to say parser, parser. And then what we're going to indicate here is the different structure that we have. Well, in this case, it is here day, month, year. So you might say you are day, dot, month, dot, year. And if you save this, refresh, you will see here it works, but not entirely. And the reason why is you see a January. And if you look carefully at our code, we had here April. The reason why this happens is because this here is being recognized as a minute. This is what we also use for minutes. And that's why you have your four. You can see here 1204, which is four minutes. So it thinks that it is four minutes. No. So I'm going to convert this. Capitalize month. Save that. Refresh. And then it will work nicely. This is very, very important because if you would change this, you might say, all right, I need double D and here, uh, four times Y. That doesn't work. It doesn't allow it. It will give you an error. For example, if I do this for the day, what happens is it indicates here range error, use the, uh, the small letters of D. So very important. Remember that. Save this. And there we are. So if you enjoyed this video, maybe you want to use these dates and then figure out how to filter, for example, value, values or part of a chart by showing the date for a specific range. In that case, I have this video here, how to filter dates in chart.js, which I highly recommend as well.